KY3 First Alert Weather. All right, we've got a first alert day to be aware of. Mm -hmm. Mostly in the afternoon, it sounds like early yeah, afternoon. Uh, early to mid-afternoon mm -hmm. hours. It's not going to be widespread by any means. Mm -hmm. Not everyone's actually going to even see rain, mm -hmm. but we could see a few storms that do pack a punch. We've seen severe storms so far this morning, staying off to our north up towards Kansas City. They had a tornado warning about an hour or so ago up there, but for us, our weather relatively not too bad. This morning, we'll dry line off to our west, and that's where storms really beginning to initiate before they track their way off a bit more to the east and roll into our area this afternoon. So here's how this plays out. Tracking the moisture, obviously with the dry line, dry air right along it and right behind it. And so as it works its way on in, the moisture pushes forward and we'll look at a really dry air mass right behind that boundary into the late afternoon and evening. That'll increase our fire danger behind the dry line today. And then a weak front kind of overtakes it tonight. And then this boundary kind of stalls out just south of us tomorrow before lifting north as a warm front again Wednesday night into Thursday, and that'll bring us another chance for some rain and storms here in the forecast. So let's time this out for you. Heading into the day today, models really not showing a significant amount for us. We have a really strong cap in place here in Springfield. I think later on in the afternoon, that cap starts to break down in our eastern counties, and that's where the greatest severe risk likely lies later on today after 1 o'clock, and then by 4 or 5 p.m. The rain, the storms off to our east already, and we'll be dry later on this evening, overnight tonight, with another rain chance moving into your Wednesday night. Until then, a lot of sunshine Wednesday afternoon. So today, level two site risk for severe storms. Should we see storms develop actually breaking through that cap? They could produce some large hail, maybe around quarter to isolated golf ball size and 60 mile per hour wind gusts. That tornado threat, it is very low. It's not zero. The threat would mainly lie in our far eastern most counties. Maybe a bit better of a risk though, just out of our area. Today, though, very strong winds picking up coming in from the south southwest gusts about 35 to 50 miles an hour today with the strongest gusts west of Highway 65 and then into the late evening. Still a bit breezy by 8 and tonight winds start to become a bit more mild. Tomorrow gusts at about 30 miles an hour in some of our northern and eastern counties, but should be relatively a bit more mild than today. Now, our next chance for rain and storms, like I said, comes with that warm front lifting Wednesday night into Thursday morning. We'll look at a few showers and storms clipping some of our western and southwestern most counties, maybe Wednesday overnight. This will change. This is just one model, but we'll look at another chance as a cold front works its way on in heading into Thursday afternoon. This is around lunchtime, then into the evening, moving mostly south of I-44 with that front, and then it clears on out into Friday, but clouds hanging around Friday and cooler air does begin to move on in. So Thursday's severe risk is going to be best in our far southeastern most counties where there's a level two slight risk, but a risk for many south of I-44 as the storms pass Thursday afternoon. Temperature wise, we're in the 80s tomorrow and then upper 70s by Thursday, rain and a few thunderstorms. And then there's the cooler air as we head into the weekend. 19% is uh, pretty precise. <laughs> we'll call it 20% chance for a few widely scattered showers on Saturday, uh, but certainly not a washout by any means. Today, temperatures should climb in the mid to upper 70s for highs. Then later on this evening, we're in the upper 60s, low 70s at 9 and staying really warm tonight. I'd say maybe a degree or two cooler than this shows many in the upper 50s waking up and then temperatures will continue to cool this weekend. Low rain chance on Saturday and then we'll warm up as we begin next week in the mid to upper 60s with more sunshine. The road to the 